Oh, you know what you're gonna do is you gotta shake it up. <laughs> there you go. And then. Oh fuck. <laughs> I don't want to talk about how much whiskey I just got on my blazer. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Weekly Whiskey After Hours. Uh, we had a really great episode this week. Uh, great time hearing about some new products, but the show is done. The lights are down and we are hanging out. It's always a good time and we're live again this week. So, John, how are you doing, my friend? I'm doing well. I've got a little pour of something delicious here and I'm excited to talk about it. Um, what do you say we give this thing a review tonight? Definitely. So what we are drinking tonight, um, this is brand new. It is the Still Austin uh, they are down in Austin, Texas, of course, and this is their new Cast Strength Limited Edition. It's 59% ABV, a big boost over there. Still Austin, the musician, um, and I'm super pumped about this. John and I both had pretty glowing reviews of the Still Austin. It's some of the best whiskey I've ever had for the age. Um, it's expertly blended by Nancy Fraley. Basically, we love everything about what's happening, and the only thing we asked for was like, man, I can't wait to taste this as a barrel proof. Um, and a couple months later, probably about Bumble. six months later, yeah, here we are really similar label um you're not going to miss that this is a still austin product but beautiful in its own way i really like the artwork they choose yeah they did a great job with these they uh partnered with a local artist when they did it they did the entire series um or uh, the entire uh portfolio rather with uh, the same artist so i think they'll have a lot of stuff coming out i don't know if it'll be in perpetuity with the same designer or not but uh i think their goal was to use uh, a whole pile of their stuff for all of their labels in it. Yeah. Pretty cool looking bottle. Um, but really what got me was it, like you said, it's young, but great. Oh my God, yeah. Um, we both, this came in earlier in the week, we were texting each other a little bit about it, having a few sips ahead of time, but I'm ready to get to like dive in because I'm, I mean, we all know young whiskey usually sucks, right? Um, or it's risky. It's not a sure bet of like a quality product. Um, and I was really worried the first time we tried the first Still Austin product because it's like two and a half years old. Um, and I wouldn't have known that blind. And the same is true for this. So let, lead us in here, John. What are you uh, What are you picking up? Right up front, light brown sugar and a, a whole pile of sweetness comes through. Mm -hmm. I mean, I catch this tiny bit of youth to it, but it's not a harsh, grainy, terrible background. And it's also not a what sometimes I get in some Texas whiskey like this somehow over aged under aged at the same time you know over sure. oaked but not quite actually mature yeah absolutely i get that so a lot this in this dives underneath that radar and it stays right there i mean there's just the you know i guess the corn in there but overall i mean this is like praline sweet a little bit of a i, don't know, I <laughs> almost want to say waffle cone but i know that that's a thing now like Every time we're doing a tasting here, one of us is going to say it, so I try to not say it. I mean, you haven't said butter yet. No, I haven't. I've been intentionally holding that one back for later. I love it. Yeah, I, I really like this. I thought it was really complex. The nose gives me lots of big spice drop notes. I'm getting like graham cracker, pie crust, uh, toffee, uh, creme brulee, and kind of this cocoa note. And I totally agree. Some, and a lot actually, TX does this. Balconis does this where like it tastes young, but the tannin is like overly peppery and like very aggressive and like it's just not, you know, we call it structure sometimes, like it's not well structured to be like those flavors and the rich oak kind of working together. It has right. that young but too old feel all at the same time. And I totally know what you're talking about. And this doesn't this doesn't have any, which surprises me. I've seen or tasted some rather that um you get the like big viscous heavy mouthfeel and like initially i'm like oh okay this is going to be a nice balance really really impactful sip and then it comes through and it's just like ah it's over oak even for me to say it, it's going to be bad and that's totally it i mean of the two of us you like oak much more than i do indeed so to hear you say it is is pretty impressive actually yeah yeah so still austin i think on this one really i mean again an another another good release yeah the palette really rich palette nice long finish really yeah. is there an age statement on this puppy um, at, no at least yeah, two years least two same years. age statement yep unreal at least that's just my opinion but yeah i mean this has got 
just <clears throat> it's got all the things that you look for. It you know it, it really brings in a good American whiskey profile right right up front. Yeah, and it doesn't really deviate, but not in a bad way. I mean, I'm not gonna say that you know I'm catching like 20 things on the nose, but. I mean, it's got everything you like here. This is a nice pour of whiskey. Yeah, man. If your age statement is two years and the only complaint we really have is you, it could be a little bit more complex. Sure. Like, I can't wait. I'm going to send this out blind to all sorts of people. I'm going to pour this blind on trips. I'm going to send this blind to people. Like, because I, I, I wish that I tasted this blind because I would have loved to know what that, um, that mental image would have been not knowing oh, yeah. exactly what this was. I think it's going to blow some people's minds. I'm with you, man. This is going to be a, a real big hit. They've done a good job with this. Okay, very cool. Well, um, that is a thumbs up for me. I like it a lot. Uh, thumbs up from you, John, it sounds like. I, I can guess. Cool. Well, once again, this was the Still Austin, uh, the musician cast strength. This is their limited edition at 59% alcohol by volume down in Texas. Uh, mm-hmm. Thankfully, both John and I are nowhere near Texas. This is a distillery only, um, and we're thankful that they did send it to us for review. Um, we're pretty tough on stuff, so people like to get that opinion. I um, mean, we're glad that we do. But thank you for joining us um, for After Hours. This is dropping. Uh, we can't wait to see you on Tuesday again. And if you're looking for more from John, you can find him at The Bourbon Finder, both on Instagram um, and his website, thebourbonfinder.com. Great source of reviews, news. He's doing all sorts of kind of side-by-side comparisons, um, and he's got a great writing style, so check him out. Um, and once again, I am Jay from whiskeyraiders.com. Uh, we are the Rotten Tomatoes Whiskey. We're aggregating scores, um, including John's from across the internet uh, wide. Um, we're basically taking all the voices of whiskey, putting them in one easy place to read. We are the Rotten Tomatoes of whiskey, so check us out at whiskeyraiders.com. But until Tuesday, um, I'm going to drink some more of this. I think it's pretty delicious. It's been great to see you all, and uh, cheers. See you, John. Cheers. <laughs>